For all of your cheap, fast and reliable gaming services, head over to DGZ Gold. The link will be down in the description and make sure to use code R8TD for a 5% discount. Enjoy. What's going on guys, it's Rated here. Welcome back to the channel today. I've got you guys a brand new video. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at a few easy pilot glitches here within Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. These specifically being on the map 5AZ. These can be great for getting headshots, XP and much more. But just before we jump into the video, if you guys can drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And without the way, I'd like to say a huge shout out to Fitzy, he's the guy who provided me with this gameplay. He uploads a ton of different glitches, so be sure to check him out in the description below. Without the way, let's jump right into the tutorial. So, these few glitches are super easy, you can jump in and out of these glitches with no problem at all. You can go ahead, pack a punch weapons and so on and so forth, which I'll be showing you guys within this video as well. Starting it off, I just want to show you guys a super easy AFK location that is on 5AZ. If you go into this corner, as you can notice, all of the zombies stand completely still. And this glitch can be very useful if you need to go AFK in a public match. So just bear that one in mind. I'm not sure if many of you guys already knew about that glitch, but I thought I'd include it as the first glitch here in this video. Besides the point, the first glitch I'm going to be showing you guys right here is in the spawn location on Firebase Z. Uh, this one is a mantle glitch that all you guys are going to need to do is have one zombie alive following from behind you. Simply just have a space between you and the object. Jump up, walk back ever so slightly and you'll be on the corner of this barrier right here. Once you're on the corner of this box, all of the zombies will continue to pile up right beneath you, pretty much not hitting you at all. I would like to mention that zombies can hit you every so often, so just bear that in mind when doing this glitch. I'd recommend running um, the Ring of Fire, so if you do take any damage, you can clear out the zombies immediately. But yeah, definitely go ahead and buy Juggernaut and Quick Revive if you are going to stay in this location, especially at the higher rounds. But this is a great glitch. At the lower rounds, anything below round 20, this glitch is going to be perfect for, especially if you guys want to exit the game at round 20 to go ahead and get your crystals. Definitely go ahead and try this glitch out. Now, I would like to mention just before we hop into the second glitch that I have for you guys in this video is that I want to know what you guys want to see uploaded on the channel next. So leave a comment down below what type of glitch you want to see. That being a camo glitch, another XP glitch, or a crystals ethereum glitch, or even maybe some multiplayer dark ether glitches. Let me know in the comment section below. I'd also like to know, as you guys just seen by the gameplay, you can pick up all of the drops from this location as well. So if the zombies drop any nukes, insta kills, or max ammos, you can go ahead and pick those back up automatically which is of course great for these lower rounds without well, the way let's jump straight into the second glitch so the second glitch i have for you guys also takes place in the spawn room which is the courtyard here on 5az you guys are going to need to have ether shroud on and have that ability leveled up to three spare that in mind when doing this glitch from this location you want to follow exactly where i go do a sprint jump and then activate your ether shroud in midair and you'll be teleported on top of this ledge Simply climb up exactly where I go and then stand behind this ledge right here. Now, I'd like to say the way how this glitch is working is because they previously patched the mantle so you can't no longer sprint jump and mantle on top of this anymore. You guys actually have to use the ether shroud to get in this location. And once you are up here, the zombies will jump back and forth between these two locations. As you guys can see, this also includes the mimics as well, so they will not attack you. I'm not entirely sure about the manglers, but if you guys want to let me know in the comment section, that would be highly appreciated. But yeah, I would recommend running the field blast as your um, attachment for your weapon. This will generate you slightly more XP as well. And you guys can literally just jump in and out of this glitch and use the packer punch, which is also located in the courtyard as well. So this glitch is super easy and definitely one that I'd recommend doing if you are on firebase c uh, but other than that hopefully you guys did but other than that hopefully you guys did enjoy this video if it did help you out in any way shape or form be sure to drop a like down below and also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future uploads i have a brand new glitch coming out tomorrow so you definitely don't want to miss out on that one and if you guys are not already in the discord group go ahead and join that you can always find a link for that in the description down below but yeah hopefully i'll see you guys in the next video and until next time peace
Yeah.